This is amazing. Now we can create chatbots to understand legal documents, to query against legal documents. This will speed up lawyers' work. We can use Mixtral, Haystack, and Gina AI for embeddings. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you how to create a chatbot to summarize legal documents or query against a legal document. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so it can help others like you. So this is the configuration I'm using. As a first step, pip install Haystack AI, Gina Haystack, Chroma Haystack, PyPDF and Transformers and then click enter. Next, export your Gina API key and Hugging Face API key like this. You can generate Gina API key from Gina.ai website. The reason why we are using Gina for embedding is because it's the world's first open source embedding model with support for a groundbreaking 8192 token context length. It is a drop-in for OpenAI alternative and it is 80% cheaper. Next, we are going to create a file called app.py and then let's open it. First, from Chroma Haystack, we are importing Chroma Document Store. Next, importing pipeline, link content fetcher, pi PDF to document, document writer, document cleaner, document splitter, Chroma embedding retriever, document policy, Gina document embedder, Gina text embedder, and finally import OS. So as you can see, so the fetcher will get the content from the link, PDF to document converter converts from PDF to document, document writer saves it, document cleaner cleans the document for any extra spaces or duplicates, then document splitter splits the document, retriever retrieves, and using Gina, we are embedding the documents and text. Now we are going to import Gina API key and Hugging Face API key. Hugging Face API key is nothing but the Hugging Face token. Now we are initializing the document store, link content fetcher, and the converter from PDF. So as a first step, we are actually retrieving the PDF document. That is the legal document. So these components are used to do that. Next, we need to do cleaning of the documents, split the documents. Using document writer, we are going to save the document in document store. Next, using retriever, we can retrieve the saved document. Using document embedder, we can embed the document. You can see the split length we have given is 500. This is because we have a large context length for Gina document embedder. Now we are going to integrate all these things using pipeline. So we're going to create the indexing pipeline, initiating the pipeline, adding the fetcher component, converter component, cleaner component, splitter component, document embedder component, writer component. Then we are going to connect these components. First, the fetcher will fetch the PDF and give to the converter. The converter converts the document from PDF to document format and then pass that to cleaner, which cleans the document. Then the cleaned documents will be sent to the splitter to split it. Next, the divided documents is sent to the embedder for embedding, which is Gina AI. Next, the embedded document is sent to the writer to save the documents in the data store. Now we can provide URLs to the legal document. So this is the case document which I'm going to open. And this is the case document between Google and Sonos. This consists of 18 pages. And we are going to ask question, query against this document, and also summarize this document using large language model mixture. For our reference, I'm going to save the pipeline as image for us to understand later. Then we are going to run the indexing pipeline and passing the URLs. You can give unlimited amount of legal documents in this URLs. As a lawyer or a solicitor or attorney, you might have thousands of documents. You can add all those documents here and you are able to have a conversation with those documents and query those documents using AI. Now we can run this code in our terminal, python app.py and then click enter. Now this will automatically extract the content from the PDF, convert that to embeddings and it will store those embeddings. So here is the indexing pipeline PNG image. This is just for us to understand what is happening behind the scenes. First, the URL is fetched, then converted from PDF to document. Next, it's cleaned and those documents are divided into chunks using splitter then it is embedded and it is written to the data store using writer. Now we have completed the first two steps. 
get legal documents, and then index those documents. Now, finally, we are going to create the RAC pipeline, which will analyze, summarize your legal document using Mixtro. Creating the RAC pipeline from Haystack, importing Hugging Face TGI generator. Using this, we can use Mixtral model. Next, importing the prompt builder. Next, importing the Gina text embedder. Now we are going to create the prompt. So this prompt receives the list of documents related to the query and it will be sent to the large language model for us to give answer based on the context. Now we need to embed the query. So we are using text embedder. Next, you are using generator. This generator will use the Mixtral 87B model and it uses the Hugging Face token to download it. Now we are going to do generator.warmup to download the model. Now we are going to initiate the prompt builder and pass the prompt. Initiate the RAC pipeline. Adding the text embedder component, prompt builder component, retriever component, and finally generator component. Now we are going to connect these components. So first we are getting the embeddings from text embedder and using that to retrieve the relevant documents from the embeddings. Next, those retrieved documents will be sent to the prompt to create the prompt. Next, the prompt is sent to the generator, that is the large language model mixture. Now the RAC pipeline is ready. We can even save the image of the pipeline for us to understand later. Now we can ask question to the legal document which we have initially uploaded. So the question is, summarize what happened in Google versus Sonus. That is the document which we initially uploaded. Now let's create a result using rag.run. Here we are passing the question to the text embedder and the prompt builder. Finally, we can print the generated results. That's it. As a quick summary, we retrieved the PDF document and converted that to embeddings. Then we stored those embeddings in the document store using indexing pipeline. Then using those documents as a context, we are asking question to the large language model Mixtral in the rag pipeline. And finally, we are printing out the results. As you can see in this image, we have completed the whole process. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. Seems like the generator is not expecting a value called max new tokens. Yeah, I can see that this line need to be changed a little bit with the generation quarks, keyword arguments. And now let's run this code. Now it's calculating embeddings. And here we got the answer. Answer, Google versus Sonos is a patent infringement case in which Sonos sued Google for infringing on two of its patent and it gives more information. Similarly, you can query these documents with various questions. This is just the basic guide so that you can understand how you can improve from here. As simple as that. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.